you know, whether it's oil, whether it's gas, whether it's electrical, whether it's uh, uh, wind energy, it all gets down to the equipment and all that equipment is made of materials. So they're involved from specification uh, to ensuring the, the quality of what gets built. We focus a lot on process development. One of the biggest things that we're doing now is to do adaptive processing controls. Adaptive process control in our setting is to look at the variation in the process. Say a material comes in and it is light, lighter in weight than we expect it to be. So we would actually put in more material into a, a part to make sure that it meets our required thickness. From my industry and where I work, one of the most exciting things is additive manufacturing. So additive manufacturing um, in our facility is focused on powder bed manufacturing, so 3D printing of powder metals. Material science uh, students or material science graduates are traditionally looking at several things. They're looking at, again, creating new powders. What has never been able to be produced before? Let's come up with that new powder. So in Baker Hughes, we see material scientists really connected throughout the organization. There's material scientists engaged with working with our raw material suppliers to make sure that the material is the right material. It's the sort of material we need and we get it when we want it with the right quality level. We see materials engineers engaged into the design process, helping to select the right materials, making sure that they'll work with the designs and working with the designers to optimize that product or service. For my company, uh, material scientists play a lot of different roles, uh, from specifying materials to looking at different coatings. And so that doesn't mean only selecting materials and knowing how they perform, but looking at the financial ramifications of those choices. To now know that uh, Texas A&M has a dedicated material science and engineering uh, department is very exciting. It's, as I mentioned, uh, material science engineers are needed throughout all industries. 